Okay, so that it, I've noticed that I don't have really any P51 footage on my channel, so I'm going to try to fix that problem here today. So, P51, high altitude, high speed, win. That's basically how you do it. Now, the problem with the P51 is, uh, or that I've seen, is that it has a tendency to wobble a little bit. It's not as stable as, for example, the Hellcat, but you fly it very, you fly it in a very similar way that you fly the Hellcat. So let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to be up against Russia in this one. Russians kind of have a tendency to be a little overpowered. But I do have one thing going for me. I am in a plane that can outperform a Russian plane in terms of speed any day of the week. Yak-3 up here. Now one thing about the uh, Russian fighters, I said that they're overpowered. The overpowered part comes from uh, their low altitude performance. Up here at higher altitude, their engines kind of lose a little bit of their mojo, and they're really not all that effective at that from that point on. In fact, some of them actually lose their ability to burn wet whenever they're uh, whenever they're at higher altitudes, like we're at now. Anything about ten thousand feet. Okay, so this guy chasing the P thirty eight is my primary target. Right now. Dude, don't dive. At high altitude, you'll burn him all day. Let him chase you. He can't catch you. I guarantee it. Attack the enemy! Okay, changing targets, because this guy over here is actually up a bit higher. Sorry, dude, but I can't leave these guys up here at high altitude to do to to come back and bite me in the ass later. Got to deal with these guys up here first. While he's presenting himself, we're going to go for this PE-8 down here. It's a very large target. Got him. Alright, he's going to burn. Let's climb back out of here. He should burn, anyway. Oh, dude, come on, respect the fire. That 
That should do it. Yeah, there we go. Cool. All right. How many more do we have? One, two, three, five of them. Okay. I get the feeling they're all over here by Noble Six. A oh, Halo reference. Nice one, Noble Six. Okay, let's keep our speed up. Let's get in there. Let's stay up above these guys. Okay, switching targets. I think no, that guy's that guy's gone. Switch into this guy. See if I can do anything about him. Don't turn with him. He beats me in a turn all day. Got it. All right, let's move in and finish him. Got it. Nice. How about that? Walking away with, from this one with two kills. I'll take it. I will gladly take it. All right, there's a B-25 somewhere fucking up our ground units. I gotta go find him. There he is, I think. Is that him? Yeah, that's him. Somebody attack him! I have Noble Six on my team, so got at least one good wingman. We got a bomber over here. This B-25 seems intent on going after him. All right, we can't have any of that. Don't really want to slot in on this guy's tail because he's got a tail gunner of doom with laser-guided precision. No, sir. Want no part of your shit.
right, he got a piece of me there. Got to get away from him. Don't go head on with them. No, 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 no. Noble Six, I just got done complimenting you. Don't go head on with this guy. Nice, you got him. That should do it. Let's see what we can find. Time to go on the, the offensive. There he is. We found him. Somebody attack him! Engaging the enemy! Okay, managed to dodge that one. And he seems to be very intent on coming after me. So, let's lead him to the AAA. If he wants to fight like that, he can come and get me. He won't catch me, though. Guarantee you, he will not catch me. Especially given the fact that I've got a competent wingman here. Oh, oh, what's happening here? He's breaking. He's breaking. Clever girl. Oh no, he got me. Eh. Lucky shot. Good kill, dude. Ace in a day. Okay, so that was the P-51 Mustang. Um, obviously, there are pilots out there who are better at it than I am, but in a nutshell, that's basically how you want to fly it, is by keeping it keeping it fast and uh, try not to engage in turn battles with uh, with planes that are superior turners like uh, the Yaks for example um, still not exactly sure how that Yak 3 was able to keep up with me in a 400 mile an hour dive because or a 400 mile an hour and accelerating dive um, but, you know, I got to give credit where it's due. He did score a pretty good shot, uh, even if I do think it was a lucky shot. 
but he also made a glaring mistake by fixating on me and leaving himself wide open for uh, Noble Six to get him. So made it an easy shot for him. So anyway, shout out to Noble Six. Very well played. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.